by the panelists. And uh, it ranged from uh, pre-independence and uh, pre-1961. And uh, a couple of points were clear. The focus on social sector activity, uh, the thrust and previously the lack of thrust on mining, agriculture, and now at the intermittent phase where corruption uh, was uh, shown to have taken a higher uh, uh, position. And then the subsequent thinking on development of the knowledge sector, infrastructure, knowledge sector, IT. And uh, Government of India's initiatives on skill, skilling, reskilling India. So there is a need for working more on assessment, deeper assessment of the needs and the skill gaps in Goa. Uh, how much effort the government can make and what would be the role of the education sector? How great a role the education sector should play to bridge this gap and take Goa to the next level? Yeah, I'm Devashis Patnaik. I'm teaching in uh, Bixpilani Goa campus. I was heading the department recently. <coughs> and uh, we work on all these areas. Thank you. You would like to take three, four questions I am Samir Kelekar. Uh, I am an IT professional um, based in Bangalore and I had also stood for elections in Panjim recently. <laughs> While I found the discussion very illuminating, um, I feel that we should look beyond mining. The point is, rest of India has, uh, especially Bangalore, Karnataka has moved very, very in different directions. Today is the age of mobile phones and India is one of the biggest market for mobile phones. All the rest of the world and the companies want to come to India to manufacture mobile phones actually. In Andhra Pradesh, I think there's a, you know, even Apple iPhone, the company that manufactures it, is setting up a plant there. Unfortunately, in India, in Goa, nothing has happened. I think one company called Lava had approached Goa government saying that they wanted to set up manufacturing. From what I heard, the Goa government lost the file itself. They didn't even respond to the proposal. They didn't know where the file was. It's such a pathetic state in Goa government. And unless we do mass uh, production of jobs and manufacturing is one area where we need to create jobs. Right now probably mining is doing it but mining cannot be sustainable as it is said at the most 50 years we can go and we need to not just think only 50 years. So manufacturing is the way to go and rest of the states are moving very fast ahead. Secondly IT is the way to go I feel sorry for all of you because nobody is going to get jobs in Goa. They are all going to come to Bangalore or Bombay looking for jobs. I don't see any point. What is the point of an economy if Goans have to move out? Today, every Goan youth is moving out either to Bangalore or Bombay or by taking Portuguese passport to UK and even the poor are, you know, working in uh, Heathrow Airport uh, cleaning toilets there. But it is a sad state. Economy is no use. Economy is the GDP growth is no use if all of us have to move out. When I was age 16, I moved out. I passed the IIT entrance. I moved out. I am 54 today. I cannot come and survive in Goa. Still, I have to stay in Bangalore because. There is no IT industry. I work in security and hacking. 
I, I will have to stall if I come to Goa, or yes, otherwise I have to, you know, get into corruption. So, that's it.